Winds cranked up today with a vengeance, and just about all of New Mexico felt it. News 13's Aaron Drawhorn shows us just how bad it got. Aaron? Dean, pretty bad for many. The wind may have changed the physics of your walking or your driving. For others, the gusty wind meant power problems, but no matter where you were, today the wind was wild. The howls were loud. Between the buildings, there's like a vortex. And that noise got intense. You can't wait until the wind's gone. Hey, I Jerry. love it. I, I don't have a problem with this. But power problems came from Ruidoso to Albuquerque, and that's not all. This car was a casualty when the wind blew over a tree in the South Valley. A lot of the barriers were flying around some of the uh, orange cones there. Signs couldn't stand, flags had their fabric tested, driving and cycling required precision. On windy days like this in New Mexico, we often see a symbol of the American West, the tumbleweed. And there are tons of tumbleweeds along the fence here of St. Pius on course, including quite a bit of litter. Definitely the wind is open today with its fury. Tumbleweeds became road hazards, both big and small. Social media shared the tumbleweed invasion. On a day when cameras shook at the bumpy big guy, when it blew badly in Bernalillo and got rowdy in Rio Rancho, wind embracer Eugene Brown thought of two characters. Mary Poppins, she would fly around every so often. And then you have the flying nun. Wind would catch her and she would go around. This is perfect weather for her, okay? But the wind did wind down finally after one turbulent Tuesday. A lot of dirt was also whipped up today, prompting the city of Albuquerque to issue an air quality advisory. Dean, back to you. All right, Aaron, thank you. The storm also brought some snow. Angel Fire had eight inches of new snow. Ski Santa Fe reported 11 inches.